If it is um, uh, a point of uh, what goes around comes around, uh, I'll start by letting you know that um, I guess uh, one of the first uh, vehicles to come to Rwanda in history, if not the first, it is the Volkswagen. I remember also when I was a kid, before uh, my family and many other people's families were thrown out of this country, I think it was at the age of four or something like that. I used to see a Volkswagen called uh, the Beetle, which used to have an engine uh, where we are not used to have it, where the boot is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so th that now we have a Volkswagen back here in Rwanda being uh, assembled and uh, in the near future to be made here. So I thought it was a good story to um, Thomas Schaeffer um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a pleasure for me to join you to launch Volkswagen uh, operations in our country. This investment was announced uh, actually about 18 months ago, if I recollect well. Uh, I know some might have found it hard to believe that German cars, uh, as we are used to call them, could really be built in Rwanda. Yet today, the first vehicles are rolling off the assembly line. So it's a, a good story. Thank you for those who have been uh, working hard to make it possible. I wish, therefore, to congratulate Volkswagen and all the partners involved uh, for moving this so quickly. The facility undoubtedly represents a new chapter in Rwanda's uh, journey of uh, economic transformation. Uh, there are also positive implications for Africa more generally. And by the way, let me tell you, I, this gives me uh, additional good story to tell uh, in a few days to come, a couple of days, we have an African Union summit, uh, which I happen to chair uh, this time around. And uh, so uh, it will be a pleasure to be telling uh, some people this good story. It's a good story for Africa. Let me uh, highlight some of the most significant elements. First, not only can global brands assemble high quality products in Africa, in Rwanda, 
they can also find customers here. The assembly plant is just one part of the investment. Equally prominent are training, uh, sales, aftercare, and innovative mobility solutions uh, for the African market, as we have already uh, been told. In fact, the majority of the new jobs for our citizens are going to be created through these types of uh, accompanying services. Africa is not merely positioning itself as a new low-cost hub uh, to manufacture uh, goods uh, for export. Africa, African consumers will also be among the biggest contributors to growth in global demand in the years ahead. Going forward, I think the companies that succeed in Africa will have the kind of integrated vision of supply and demand that Volkswagen is showing. Secondly, this operation reminds us of the importance of working regionally. Uh, to our Kenyan friends, brothers and sisters, uh, who are a key part of this international team, uh, we welcome you and thank you. In fact, uh, Rwanda and Kenya will be uh, benefiting each other uh, directly and with Volkswagen right in the middle of that mix. In turn, the technologies being pioneered in Rwanda are intended to be deployed throughout the company's operations in Africa. We are indeed delighted that uh, a Rwandan software firm already uh, we have been introduced to, uh, our Summit Lab. By the way, I, I used to think, or at least uh, I want to believe that I, I, I know m many people around especially the useful people. <laughs> uh, but uh, I didn't know these young people, uh, so I'm happy to be introduced to you, or the other way around. <laughs> uh, so I think we, we have a lot of work ahead to do together, and I thank you for being behind this effort. So the fact that uh, the group was selected by Volkswagen to design the application that will power the innovative uh, ride-sharing mobility solution is uh, indeed very welcome. And we want to encourage uh, our young people, many more others, to uh, be behind uh, the kinds of innovations uh, that uh, will work for the many industries that uh, will be developed here. In the medium term, the only way for us in East Africa uh, to move up the industrial value chain uh, from assembly to manufacturing is to build an integrated regional manufacturing base. When we shift from uh, uh, a logic of, uh, of competition to one of cooperation, 
But I think better still, the best way to put it is um, to fuse, the, bring together the two, competition and cooperation, uh, when they are brought together, everyone gains. Success is about partnership and leveraging our uh, strength. The third point is about the importance of anticipating future trends. The old model of individual car ownership is not sustainable, especially when those vehicles burn fossil fuels. It leads to environmental degradation and traffic uh, gridlock. The cars produced here, or today or in the near future, are expected and will be, I guess, hybrids. And fully electric models will be introduced in the new course, so I'm told. In the future, software and technology combined with innovations in sales and the distribution strategies will allow people to have routine access to a new car without all the costs of ownership. This is very important for us. Most of the cars on our roads are used. Many were made in the last century. I told you some of these Beatles. I see many, they were mainly driven by priests. I, I remember some of those priests from some different, some of these different places used to be behind the wheel of these small things. Um, this is uh, so the, they pollute much more just because of their age uh, than the latest models. Africa does not need to be a dumping ground for second hand cars or second hand anything. You know what has been going around also uh, about second hand. Uh, in the long run, you end up paying a higher price anyway. So if you can high, pay a high price for second hand, why not, why not pay a high price for something new? It's a, it's a simple choice. I think we Africans, uh, Rwandans, we deserve better and uh, I think this is one way of showing how we can afford it. For this and other reasons, I thank, I think that uh, this promising partnership with Volkswagen is off to a very good start. I wish you every success in your endeavors uh, and thank you very much for all the work you are doing uh, to make this uh, happen. And for us, we are only, or we are here only to uh, serve you as well in making uh, your efforts very productive. Thank you very much. <laughs>